Hello guys and girls, welcome to the gaming news forecast for this week. I'm Retro and we got a lot to discuss, so let's jump right into it. All right, now to kick things off, EA Sports FIFA is no more. FIFA 23 was the last year with that title in the series and will now be known as EA Sports FC. EA has released and teased their new logo with this title. It stated that EA has confirmed licensing agreements with quite a few leagues and will be home to the biggest competitions, leagues, and players. The article did state quite a few leagues in which they have obtained licenses for. I'm not the biggest soccer or football, if you will, fan, but let's see how these new mechanics and other features that they have going on and planning to do with the franchise progressive things forward. And now moving on, we all know April Fool's has passed. Now, Sega's April Fool's joke turned into a good time for a lot of people. In just five days, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog has reached over a million downloads on PC. It's a free point and click game where... Well, Sonic was murdered. If you're interested, go check it out. Next bit of news that we have for you is that God of War Ragnarok's new game plus mode has officially been added and it's available to play. The mode adds new equipment, enchantments, progression paths, cosmetics, and more. Will you be jumping back in to play? I probably will. I enjoyed the game thoroughly and I don't see why I wouldn't give it another playthrough, especially if there are new things to buy. Next up, let's talk Street Fighter VI. A popular Japanese streamer recently slipped up and stated that yet another beta, an open beta for Street Fighter 6 may be coming down the line real soon. It was hinted that later this month. Now, this has yet to be confirmed by Capcom themselves, but I personally hope it does happen as I participated in both closed betas and been itching to play more. Kimberly is my favorite. And while we are on the topic, it's been confirmed that Capcom and Legendary Entertainment have a Street Fighter movie coming down the line. It'll be interesting to see the approach in this era of film. Wonder how they'll go about it, budget, etc. But it might be something for the fans to get hyped for. For those of you that are Horizon fans, get ready for the DLC title Burning Shores coming April 19th. With a little under two weeks ago, Guerrilla Games has teased and been speaking about the new settlement and characters involved. All right, now Overwatch 2 fans can get hype as season four approaches and starts April 11th. This new season will offer limited time events, modes, a map developed with its community, and much more. Now, something else that was intriguing and piqued my interest is that Sony has filed a patent for a controller that could emulate temperature changes. The patent states it will use an elastically deformable elastic member it sounds too sciencey to me i'm not sure what that is or what it means but it stated that while you're playing it'll help with haptic feedbacks and also like it says let you feel the temperature in your controller me personally i don't think i would be too fine of that going hot to cold or whatever the case may be but this is an interesting world we live in considering that VR is rampant and they keep increasing technology. Pretty soon we will be living in the world of Ready Player One. Another bit of news, which started as an April Fool's joke, but really it wasn't a joke, is that Asus has confirmed that they have been working on a handheld device as a competitor to the Steam Deck. No exact details have been released yet, however, they have stated the device runs on Windows 11. The Steam Deck has been crushing the game since it released and a lot of people are happy to be playing on the go. So, wonder what Asus got in the works and if it could beat any specs by far, we'll see. Bad news for ARK fans is they will have to wait a bit longer for that next game. Studio Wildcard stated that they have had to adapt workflows and make adjustments due to their shift to the Unreal 5 engine. The game is now expected to launch sometime in 2024. Now let's talk Call of Duty. The makers of Modern Warfare 2 recently released a nice chunky blog discussing changes and additions for both Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Season 3 for Modern Warfare 2 will include new maps and new modes, including Gunfight, Crank, Face-Off, Ground War Infected, and apparently much more. So, we'll see what happens when the new season drops. 
For fans of the new Resident Evil 4 remake, there's a few things to discuss as the free DLC for Mercenaries mode will be available soon. But at the start, we'll only have four playable characters, which are Leon, Luis, Krauser, and Hunk. Krauser and Hunk will be unlockable characters, and Leon and Luis are the ones you start with. Mercenaries will also include something called Mayhem mode, which will be initiated by how well you are doing. The remake has been outside of competition in a few markets in the past two weeks. I personally have played it. The game is phenomenal. If you haven't already got your hands on it, I definitely recommend. Now, kicking things over to another beloved horror franchise, let's talk Silent Hill 2 Remake. A few weeks ago, it was stated to be close to wrapping development. Blueberry Team also stated the release schedule lies with their partners, and they aren't sure how promos and debut will pan out. This bit of info then caused those devs to speak out again and retract kind of sort of what they said. Furthermore, just recently, the game listed on Steam changed to coming soon. Kind of makes you wonder what's going on or what's coming next. I personally am prepared to play this remake as I am waiting for it as well. Hopefully we get a bit of better news about this coming soon. Now, let's talk Nintendo. The Super Mario movie just dropped recently, and it's being met with quite a bit of skepticism. It seems that fans of the franchise actually enjoy it, but the critics have been giving it terrible scores and ratings. I personally have not seen it yet, but got a daughter whose birthday is coming up, and I will be seeing it then. The creators have also gone on record to state that they may have something else in the works for a part two, but they are being tight-lipped about it so we don't know what's coming next if it will be a mario 2 or if they will use another character and make a spin-off movie or what either way i'm excited for it continuing on with the mario theme news nintendo has stated that they are more than likely going to be pulling all mario games off of mobile devices it's just not their plan moving forward and mobile gaming has been big so i don't see why they would do that but and also nintendo has stated that you need to be watching out for these directs and showcases coming up because there was hints that there may be a new mario game coming pretty soon what it would be i don't know i know a lot of people are very interested to get another odyssey which was a great game but you just never know what nintendo has in store as long as it's not another super mario brothers wii u type game we've been there and done that i like to see the newer things in the last bit of news Jeff Keighley confirmed the date for opening night of Gamescom and it kicks off Tuesday, August 22nd. Hopefully they got some good stuff there to showcase and I'm looking forward to watching. And finally, to bring everything to a close, I want to mention a few notable games dropping this month. We have Ghostwire Tokyo, April 12th, coming to the Series X. DNF Duel, April 20th, coming to the Switch. Dead Island 2, April 21st, coming to PS4, 5, Xbox One, and the series x and last but not least star wars jedi survivor drops april 28th coming to pc ps5 and the series x as well that'll do it for today's forecast we had highs and lows this week but let's hope next week is a bit more sunny once again i'm retro with the gamer section catch you guys and girls next time